Hello everyone, welcome back to JustClaral.com. I'm back with another tutorial. Here in this tutorial, I'm going to tell you how to integrate image intervention tool in your Laravel applications. This image intervention tool helps us to modify the images like we can resize the image, add some blur effect, brighten the image, sharpen the image and all other effects which we can do in a standalone photo editor can be done in our web application itself using this image intervention tool. It uses standard PHP GDS library and also image magic. There is also a separate uh, package for Laravel so we will install it in our Laravel applications and let's see what it can offer for our applications. So let's get started. First let me fire up my terminal. So now I will create a new Laravel application using this Laravel new command image intervention so it is installing the application for us so let me clear this and go into the folder let me just check the application using php artisan serve the default view when laravel is installed so with this we can confirm that our application has installed correctly so i'll close the server and now I will install this image intervention plugin in Laravel using Composer. Composer require the package name is intervention slash image. So it's installing. So the package is successfully installed. So after installing the package, we need to do some minor configurations like adding its a service provider and aliases to the Laravel structure. So let me open the application in Sublime Text Editor. So this is our application here. So we need to go to config app.php and down here in the providers we need to add one more provider of this image intervention tool. So let's add it now after this line. Also we need to add the alias of it. That means we are using image for that we need to give the alias. So we have done the configuration changes as well. So now let's so now let's see what we can do with this uh, image intervention tool in our application. So I'll create a basic view. I'll go to I'll do everything the roots file in the web.php. Here there's a view for welcome. So I'm going to edit that file here. And resources views welcome.blade.php. I'm going to delete all the style, body and uh, I'm going to place a form here with the file upload and some options for entering uh, the blur effect, the sharpen, the value for how much it should blur, how much it should sharpen for that value is a simple form. Uh, so this is a basic form which has a field for upload. This is an upload image field and this is for brightness. I have used this range slider here. And this is for the blur effect and this is for contrast. It has the range sliders from 0 to 100 so that we can use some of these features. And I have used some uh, jQuery here and, and I have used jQuery here and this is bootstrap. And this is a functionality for uh, sliders here. I have used different sliders for range, uh, range sliders for uh, brightness, blur and contrast options contrast option so now let's check the application you can see uh, this is the basic form here you can upload a photo here and this is the this is for the brightness slider you can go from uh, up to 100 from 1 this is the blur range and this is the uh, contrast range so we'll upload a photo here add the values here and click submit so what I want to do when I click submit is uh, I will show below this submit uh, below this itself I will show the original photo and the affected photo. So for that I will use Ajax call for this form. So when it submitted it uh, goes to Ajax call returns the data and displays the data below the form. So as I wanted to place the I want to place the image difference below the form I will create a division with some id as image content cun team and i will align to center so when i do the ajax request the response will be placed inside this div 
for that reason i have uh, kept an empty div here so now so now on click of this form i will call an ajax call so i'll write on click for this id here actually it is submit i have to as it's a form id i have to do form submit on submit first i need to prevent the form from submission for that i use prevent default so now as i included jquery so i can use dollar dot ajax so for doing ajax calls first thing is url i will create some route something like upload photo or it will upload the photo there and the next thing we need to pass some uh we need to pass the form inputs like the blur range brightness range and contrast ranges to it so we can in, so instead of passing each data we can pass all the form data at once by using this uh, uh, f form data form data of this uh, by using this form data you can get all the data of the form so we'll pass this to the this as a request parameters for the url so, so i'll pass this as request parameters and the data type would be json and some default ajax rules so i will paste some like a uh, catching uh, data processing and all such things so now we have to write this success function on success on success i'll call a function we'll use some thing called result as a parameter and i'll just console log for now uh, before we doing anything first we need to create this url and do all the processing there so let me copy this url and i'll go to web.php and i will create another root here that is the post root post and the url will be this so i'll do that here itself instead of creating controller and writing all the functionality in the controller as it is a simple demo application it has only one function here and throughout the whole application so that is the reason i'm writing here but if you are implementing in your applications as this is as a separate feature to your applications you have to do it in a controller as as this is a tutorial i am proceeding with the web.php file itself so let us uh, use the request here as we need to get the uh, input from the form also we need to import it here this is from eliminate http request and here first we'll check whether the form has photo or not we'll check by using if request has photo if it has a photo then we'll proceed further as we need to do all the changes on the photo itself that is the blur effect brightness and contrast effects uh, we'll first get the image uh, image equal to we'll use the image intervention tool image here and i'll call a make method on this image as you know the, uh, as we have already added this alias here here the image so we'll call this here this class here from this uh, package we are calling the class and calling the method of the class here make so we are passing the image directly to the image intervention tool we we'll get the image uh, using this uh, request here uh, we'll, so we'll get the image like this we also get its real path as you see this photo is the name of the form field here there's a form and this input id input name equal to photo here for this upload field so we are using that uh, name here so we'll get the image here so now after getting the image we are going to set its uh, brightness contrast and blur effects here so we'll use image another method in it brightness and we'll use this uh, request brightness here and brightness is the name for this uh, uh, input field this is brightness and this is blur and this is contrast so similarly we use those three for all these three here so finally i will also encode it into png image this is also available from the image intervention tool we can encode it in different formats and Finally, to display the image, I'll convert it into base64 format and display it. 
so this is the modified image so i'll give it as a name as modified image and convert it into base 64 so this is the e data of the base 64 and this is type is png and this is base 64 and we are encoding the image we have not defined the type here so let me define the type as png so i'll just uh, echo it as we are using this just uh, as an ajax result we need to just echo it instead of returning it i'll format it into json and this modified image so here in this welcome.blade.php in this success function instead of just consoling as we have created a new div to display it i will append the result to this div here so i'll set this uh, divs html here so dot html and i will use an image tag and pass the source as this result here so i have passed the image here and added the source as its result as we are just returning the basic store of the image so let us check this so let me upload a photo here good pictures so let me upload a photo here i will upload the image of this application itself i will set the brightness to some 65 just to see how it looks so we can see a major difference and if you click submit uh, it's processing I'll just keep another loading icon here. I think the image is already has processed, but we cannot see because of the contrast and blur, maybe. So I will uh, refresh and upload it again. Uh, I will upload this image. Brightness I'll reduce and I'll keep blur and con contrast to zero itself so that we can see the image. Maybe you can see this. So the you can see the original image is. Uh, so this is the original image here with all the original colors and all and this is the resultant image here. Uh, so it, if you see the image is bit brightened and uh, with this brightness effect, blur effect and contrast. These are the only three options I used here. These are the only three options I used here. There are several other op options in this image intervention package. I will show the link in the description you can go to the documentation and see all the required methods and basically the functionality is the same they will, you will have a function some 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 functions accept one parameter that is only one but if you use resize it takes two parameters the width and height for resizing and for contrast it took one parameter so similarly if you see the documentation there are so many functions we can use all the functions here I'm just trying to show you how to we can I'm just showing how we can implement this in our Laravel applications as everything is in the documentation you can follow there so now this is the example here this is how we can use this image intervention technique so that's it for the video I'm going to post all the core of this entire application in the github so see the description below for it and I'm also going to do a blog post as usual so visit my website justlabel.com if you need uh, further more tutorials on just lover and also you can follow my channel subscribe to the channel so if you like this video please like the video more videos coming soon stay tuned for more videos from justlover.com see you in the next video bye bye thank you for watching now it's time to discover more Simply click on the screen to subscribe to our channel, watch another video, and visit our webpage.